Hey guys, it's Goat the Great back again, and I know I'm putting out a lot of videos today, but I kind of wanted to just let you guys see a little something in Test Drive Unlimited, you know. Um, as you guys remember, the last time that you saw me, I was a uh, complete loser, you know. I had to join the competition, I had nothing, and I was nothing. Well, let me show you what I've become now. Yep. That's my pool right there. Haha. <laughs> I'm chilling. That's where I'm going to be entertaining all the honeys. And it doesn't get any better than that. As you can see, I have the best view possible. Over there is probably where um, hookers get money from Johns. And to the right over here, as you can see, there are other beautiful trailers. So I live in a lovely trailer park. There's some moss. Yeah. That's how you live the good life. Look at that. I even got my own hoe. If I got to plant a garden, <laughs> yeah. All right, so let me just walk around here and show you my house. <laughs> don't you, don't you guys just wish you had one of these? Your own trailer in a trailer park, baby. So yeah, got my own basketball hoop. As you can see, there is no basket because we don't need a basket in the hoop in the hood. There's no hoop even, so I do it. Let me just walk into my garage here and show you my collection of vehicles. Yeah, how do you like them apples? As I do in true hood style, live in the crappiest of houses, but have the nicest of cars. So right now I have my Chevrolet Camaro. It says that it's a 1LT, whatever that may be. I'm no car aficionado, so yeah. I paid like 23 grand for this car. Look at that, roll the windows down, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah open the doors up mm, look at that interior yeah you like that you like that yep that's my Camaro let me just get in and let you guys hear how this baby sounds mm. yeah that's my Camaro and over here we have my Hummer I think I paid 38 grand for this thing so Look at this spacious garage. I actually have to buy a new house because this house only houses two cars. I had to sell my Lotus Esprit to get my Hummer to fit in here. So I'll soon, soon I'll be selling the, the house to get a new house. But this is my, well, before we do that, let's just roll the windows down. Look at the interior on this. I got the black and red interior on the Hummer. Ooh, that's how you live the life. Let's, uh, let's hear this uh, Hummer just rev a little bit Ooh. yeah sounds good doesn't it so yeah that's my um, that is my garage guys you know I have a Camaro and I have an h3 Hummer for the moment so let me just go back and give you guys a quick tour of my house as you can see this is the outside let me just give you guys a quick tour of the inside of my home that right there is my computer that's where I get my my panel porn for those of you that don't know what panel porn is <laughs> google it <laughs> um, over here is my TV as you can see it's a state-of-the-art flat screen mmm yeah and that's my closet let me show you something again in true hood fashion have beautiful cars in the garage and and look at this remember I was wearing uh, the outfit of the the guy that um, pulled up the cars and everything the valet look at that got some expensive Prada shoes on there look at that jacket yeah boy look at that haircut even got myself some nice shades and look at my pants I'm styling skinny jeans hard body um, and I even got plastic surgery. I don't know if you guys remember, but my uh, my skin was a little bit a little darker and uh, My nose was wider and my lips were a little bit off So I went and got some plastic surgery it cost me about six thousand dollars, but I think it's worth it. So yeah, that's um That's my apartment guys. Um, I I intend on entertaining many women, you know, as you can see, I have it all here. Kitchen, no bathroom, I shower out in the open so women can see my hot body. As a matter of fact, you guys want to see my hot body? Let me just show you real quick, because I know you guys will love it. 
uh, we'll, uh, I have no clothing in my closet just yet, so let's see here. Uh, there we go, beer chest. Mm, isn't that how you do it? <laughs> ah, we'll, we'll, we'll just we'll chill like that for a moment, you know? That's, that's how we'll chill for a moment. Yeah, I've been putting in a lot of work in the gym, as you can see. So we'll just go right over here to my garage. And oh, one of the one of the things that I was having a lot of difficulty with was the controls. I've gotten a lot better. I actually have the ability to control the cars a bit better as it is now. So it definitely things have changed quite a bit. Hey, I want to drive the car. So yeah. Um, and the game is actually a really good game, guys. I mean, it is an excellent title. A few things that I can say about it is that there are some... Oh yeah, by the way, as you can hear that music. Yeah, the game has an excellent, excellent soundtrack. There are two radio stations, Hariba Radio, and then there is a, You're listening to Road Rock FM. The rock isn't that good in this game. But as I was saying, only a few things that I can complain about so far. The, you are driving the game the wrong direction. Turn around when possible. The game has a problem with the frame rate. The frame rate can sometimes hiccup, it can you get downright the wrong direction. Turn around mean? when possible. How could I be going in the wrong direction? <laughs> each way that I go but yeah it it hiccups from time to time and sometimes it can just be downright awful um, other than that it can be difficult at first as far as the races are concerned and it's only difficult at first with the races because I had a hard time learning the controls now that I've kind of gotten acclimated to the controls and I'm a bit better with it it is pretty easy to control. Well, I shouldn't say easy. It's, it's very difficult to control still. However, one of the things I realize is At that next intersection, turn right. it's it's pretty... Turn right. I'm going to go left. Yeah, I'm still... It's pretty easy to get the controls down, but you have to realize that the, the controls aren't arcade-like. It has a lot of weight. You are driving in the wrong direction. There's a lot of Turn problems. Come on, lady. There are a lot of problems with um, just picking it up and just trying to drive as though it's an arcade racer. You Turn have to left. treat this like somewhat of a sim racer. The cars have real weight, so you have to actually come to a full break at certain corners. But I have no problem with that. Overall, I'm loving the game. Beautiful graphics. Um, I've met quite a bit of people online with it, seeing that it's not even officially out. See, that was one guy there. And you, you just randomly encounter people as you're playing. I went on a co-op drive, I did a follow me drive, and uh, I'm just looking forward to everything else this game has to offer. Hopefully I see a lot of you guys online when the game finally releases on Tuesday the 8th of February. But um, yeah, that was just another quick video of Test Drive Unlimited. As I mentioned, I am loving every minute of it. It's, it's a great game. Eden Games has taken their time to craft a beautiful driving game. And I hope you guys feel the same about it when it finally does release. Anyway, guys, it's been Goat the Great, and I'm out of here. Peace.